Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at one of the newer builds of Smart Defrag uh, version 4.3 and we'll start with the installation where you can choose to install Advanced System Care which is their product, it's actually very good it's a nice all-in-one tool to take care of everything you can skip or opt out of this and you can move on it'll install relatively quick and we'll show you the new interface that they have which is pretty nice they've actually managed to add more features and functions and break it down a lot simpler than it actually was before so that's kinda of slick because some people just don't want to mess around with all these different things they simply want to defrag their drive so here are your primary options you could actually come in here and add a file or add a folder if you just wanted to defrag a commonly used folder your apps you can come in here and look at the modern apps and you can come into your optimized apps which I don't want to do too much with because if you remember I'm running an SSD hard drive so you're actually for me I'm doing more damage than anything else because I shouldn't have closed it so we go back you have your local disk that you can defrag. Now you have your automatic defrag and then you have your settings. So once you come down into your settings you can decide how and when to run it, whether you want to schedule it or hit your boot time defragment, which I'm a big fan of because that will defragment everything on your drive. You can't necessarily defrag all your files if they're in use, it can't move them. So if you do a boot time defrag, at least every once in a while, um, I might for example jump this to every two weeks. I'm not a fan of defragmenting much more than that personally you can clean out your junk files which is nice before you do it so what's the point of moving around files that you don't need anyway a lot of great settings in here um, now from here you can choose as I said your automatic and your boot time defrag so you can do automatic and then you can come here the little gear pops up and as you can see you can quite simply come in here whether it's whether you have it checked or not you just come in here and just quite simply go into your settings once you've decided how you want to do it again I'm a big fan of the boot time defragment that's the way I would go um, now if you just started the program up and you're thinking well I just want to defragment it now that's all right here defrag dig defrag and fast optimize defrag and fully optimize and defrag and prioritize files which is going to take a little while but if it's been a while since you've defragmented I would clean your drive run that and go get a cup of coffee or take a nap and let it do its thing it's it's worth letting it run your game defrags kinda slick so you could simply just click on this and if you had games in a folder in a game somewhere you just grab that folder like some of these games like World of Warcraft are so big that you can actually individually defragment just that when you need it to so um, once again everything else in here in the tabs were kinda repeating um, as far as this one goes it's a tough call. It depends on who you talk to. If you turn on boot time defrag, I'm trying to decide for you. I don't see a problem with checking them all, but you can also just go with with the default as well. So if you're not sure, and your action center, which of course pretty much is more links to their other programs, the IOBit Malware Fighter, IOBit Uninstaller, which I swear by, uh, Driver Booster, which I swear by. They're on my machine. And of course, Advanced System Care, which you had a chance to install when you come in, and Android users can also get their paws on Android security. So, once again, everything else can be found up here, but it, in the settings, check for update. Here's your user manual. You never know when you might need that. You can pretty much go through all of that again in any other tab in here. So, very, very easy to use if you stick to the front right here with the analyze local disk, modern apps, just decide what you want to do. Worst case scenario, if you're thinking, well, what do I want to do? I would go for the local disk at least, and I would go for the boot time defrag, and I would do the 14 days as mentioned before, and you can pretty much walk away at that point and have it set up to you know, automatically defragment. So that's about it. They really simplified how to use it. So if you're scared to use a defrag program, this might be the one you're looking for does a much better job than the built-in Microsoft defragmenter and you do need to defrag every once in a while to have your computer optimized. That's basically it for now. Thanks for watching as always and we will see you next time.